Hello, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I just want to make a quick video just uh, to say that um, I am still here. Uh, I'm just going for a very... I, I, well, I, mean, I don't know how to explain. I have explained in past videos, but what I am experiencing what I'm experiencing but it, it's I also mentioned on a note on a video uh, previously that when you're going through healing and transformation your whole state of consciousness is being opened up like there's a that you feel a sense of expansion you feel lighter and the more lighter in consciousness you are, the more conscious you become. Um, because you're letting go of old energy, uh, separation consciousness energy, which is exactly what I've been going through. And I, I speak for everyone who has, um, who's on the twin flame uh, process, twin flame journey. It's all a journey, mastery back to self and in the process of it and as well i mean like it's a it's it's a self it, it's a spiritual awakening it really is in the most literal in the most serious sense of the word and um it's unlike anything i've ever experienced but um it's a spiritual awakening journey, but also you, you've been blessed with a divine counterpart. Now, your mind will play games on you so much through this journey. I mean, it, it's got to the point now where I, I have surrendered completely and I'm just honoring the healing that's happening to me. That's why I've not been on YouTube for a bit because... Um, I'm just going with the flow of this. I'm having, I'm having the most amazing. I'm, well, see, that's what I'm saying. I don't know where to start talking. I'm so. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but it, it's just so. Unreal, unreal. What's happening? Uh, my, I, I, I'm changing by the day, and. really strange because your old sense of self is dying off and you feel that at the same time as this new or this this uh natural state of self comes through you're feeling the the shifting i'm feeling that and you're you, so it's 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 a experience of being in the middle of those two states because it's shifting back and forth because it's, it's alchemizing and it's trying to stabilize and integrate and it's just it's it, it, it's just that i'm speechless I, I don't know what to say um emotional everything everything's been happening to me everything's been happening so and especially within the last month, the whole month of July and the beginning of this month has been a, a, a real, I've had some real breakthroughs come for me. Um, I'm, 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 I mean, I've claimed union for myself. I've said I'm ready and what you believe in, it, it's done for you. This is, a, you know, as I've mentioned on my previous videos, like what well, you have to be ready. If you're ready, it will get mirrored back to you. And it's mirrored. It is mirrored. Like your counterpart and the physical world is a mirror. Um, all you got to say to yourself, I mean, it's, it sounds really simple, but if you're going for a dark night of the soul or Kundalini activation or both, it's usually both, I'd say, from my understanding of it. Through Kundalini, the dark night of the soul can 
shouldn't take place um, because it's pushing up old consciousnesses, old trauma, old energy. So you have to relive all that and feel it well, well, to, to, let, to let it out, well, to let it integrate and to let out, for it to alchemize. And it's like the most deepest depression, like depression that you're going to go through. Um, uh, not to scare people, but at the same time, as you go through it, you start to you start to feel liberated more and more and more and more and it, it, your whole life is going to change um but in regards to uh um i can't remember what i was saying now um not sure what i was saying there uh My mind, I'm just so in the present moment most of the time. I'm not stuck in thought. I'm not stuck in my mind. Or um, I'm still shifting now. Um, but as I say, for my absence where I've been, I've been healing. And I've been healing with this energy that's been coming up. And there's been a lot of shifts that have been taking place within me. And it's just bringing me totally into union with myself. It, 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 which is how you, I want to say how you, but it's, it's what brings your divine counterpart uh, back into your your bubble again, your life, your circumstances, your 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 you know, your reality. And then you have to, you, you, but then again, once this happens to you and they come back, when I say, well, what the, the, they start to mirror back to you what you, what you've always wanted or what you've always believed in. You're going to start to think that by healing me, they've come back. So they are me. And you're going to start to think, you're going to start to come to the awareness that is is, is the reality of my twin, is it, is, is, it, is it under my control? Well, not control, but is their reality my reality? You're going to start to get all these, I mean, your twin, it, it, the consciousness is shared because it's the same soul so they have their own personality in that and while while you're in separation and you're healing whatever you're healing on you it's getting mirrored back in them so whatever karmic situations or things that they're going through right now to you, you put it this way if you know that you're going through a massive change and you've healed a lot of stuff you i think it's from my understanding and i know this i can't prove it but I know it because other people speak about it and I, I feel very tuned in to myself now and even to specific card card readings that I've watched, which has only been a couple, I follow my I follow my feelings and but even that, even if I didn't watch a card reading, I just know that y you know you better than you, right? So to 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 the degree what the work I've done on myself, it's getting mirrored back. So if you're going through a lot of pain and a lot of liberation at the same time and healing, they're going through stuff too. So they're going to be tying up old karmic things, tying up loose ends, like just, just like ending like, cause what it is, your masculine, they're just names for the, to describe the type of energy. Heart center energy is the feminine. That's how I see it. The masculine energy is, how to adapt and interact in the physical domain or what we call the physical world, the 3D world or as Neville says, the world of Caesar I've got, I've got to do this it's just uh, cherry flavoured something I don't smoke anymore but I sometimes like a puff of the vaporizer, but anyway, uh, where was I? The f yeah, so the masculine energy. All it means is that when you're in your masculine energy, it means that you're confident to do things physically, like to do things in the external, uh, the the counterpart world, as I call it, because this world is just a world of counterpart. It's it, it's a counterpart of your belief system. 
because that's the real reality is, is your awareness of self and what and tied to that your imagination like your you know it's, it all makes sense what i've learned from neville every single word that he says but anyway this video is not about neville but Um, I wanted to say, uh, I can't remember, I'm losing every train of thought, I'm losing it, I can't remember, remember, remember what I was saying before I mentioned Neville's name, or the 3D world, um, oh yeah, that's what I was saying, so masculine energy just means someone who's, I don't want to, I want to say the word comfortable, being physical, to a degree, I mean, but then someone might say, well, my, my divine masculine, they could say, is not comfortable, they're in a karmic situation, they're not following their heart, they're stuck in the matrix, they're listening to their head, so it might look, appear that they're comfortable to a point they are, but it just it, what it is they're in balance. They're too much in the masculine and they're not in the feminine. Whereas you, the feminine, is all in the feminine and not enough in the masculine. They're not in it. When you wake up and go through this healing, one day and you go through a series, it could take weeks, months, or however long. When I say you'll wake up one day, I, I, I'm using that as an expression, but. You'll wake up that when that day comes, when you've balanced out your energy, you'll be perfectly balanced between your feminine and your masculine. So basically, you'll wake up one day and say to yourself, right, I'm following my heart on this thing. I believe this. This is mine. It's done. Boom. And energy is going to start to shift and move. It like, right, well, you believe in something and it's going to happen for you. You believe, like, and by that time, you'll be, your twin will be back with you anyway. Or when I say back with you, they'll be in your reality. We'll be together. Hopefully as an item. Some twins might decide they don't want to be an item. They might just be good friends. You don't know. But how I... I to me, the, to me, and I'm not romanticising it. Because I know there's a lot of people that romanticise the twin flame duo. Um, yeah, it, it can be romantic. But true rom romance. But you've got to have that with yourself. That's what I'm saying. People say that everyone's romanticizing the twin flame process. Now, what they're doing, they're just spreading slightly disin slight disin disinformation about the the journey. They're right and they're wrong. Um, it, it depends who you listen to, but I mean, I heard someone once say on a Facebook post, they said the twin flame journey is not a romantic journey. It's from what I've heard, this is the person who, who made the post. She said, she or he said, I think it was a she. I think she said, whoever, whatever her name was, but unknown ladies said, <laughs> um, it's mainly a, a, a plutonic relationship. It's not romantic at all. And straight away, I messaged her, said, well, that's bullshit. Uh, I actually left a comment below. I don't even know who she is. I went, you, that's bullshit. That might be the case for you, but don't put that around for everyone. Your twin is you. Your twin is your soul. It's a, it's it's a tr it's it's soul level, uh, union love. Right. It's it's the t union is the highest union uh, template of of love of your of your soul. Um, if if that makes sense. Um. If you want your twin to be romantic to you, you have to be romantic to yourself. You got as I as I said, if they are you, they are a mirror. So if they're not showing up in your reality, being romantic to you, it's because you're there's somewhere something inside of you which, and it is true, there's something whatever it is while your twin's not in your reality showing up, the way you'd like them, because whatever it is, there's something inside of you which feels like you're not enough. Only because you've inherited limiting beliefs, but you can let go of the limiting beliefs. You are enough. The very fact that you've met your twin is all the proof in the world that you're you you are enough. And if you've had that soul recognition with them, and you've seen it in their eyes, and you feel that very specific feeling, which feels very natural, and you don't know why it feels natural, um, it feels like home. Um, 
you know the feeling is very um it, it's almost indescribable um but i've described it the best way i could it feels like home it feels like a very the most loving feeling you've ever felt um that is yours it and it's the very fact you've experienced that when you was in union uh, on like as in you've had a moment of union three dimensionally we're always in union with our twin because they are you you know so again what separation is an illusion it, or like all these reasons for why they're not showing up yet it's just it's just loads of bullshit and and crap like you know garbage that you've got to clear out of your subconscious it's just that that that's highlighting it up for you to to it's it, it's it's like it's flagged it up for you to to say oh there's something in my awareness which I need to let go of. That's why my twin's not re reciprocating. You know, it's just because it all ties back into self worth about how you feel about yourself three dimensionally. So anyway, I'm gonna go now, but um, because I think the phone's ringing, but. I just want to say that you are enough and your twin is is you and I can't speak for people if they've met their twin or not you will know if you've if you've met yourself in, an, in another body you'll just know it and it will get clearer as time goes on actually it will, it will get even more clearer you'll know it straight away you might not know what it is but you'll just have this knowing come up inside of you uh so so just all i'll say is to everyone, everyone i don't know where this video was going it, it, it's just i was just saying that i've gone through a lot of healing and it, that's why that explains my absence i've i, I mentioned I've, I've said this a lot on my channel you know like i've been away and i've been healing and, which i am and it, it it's it's automatic it's it's a process it, i can't I, I have to see it through and it's just it's transforming me into into a unified being um and I've, I've had the most hurtful things come up inside my consciousness regarding my twin things that were where old core wounds are, are being purged out and it's bringing up images that reflect the, wo the wound and even as it's bringing up the most hurtful thing about my twin to, to me as i cry and see the the image of that thing that involve that involves my twin like whatever it is and it's not hurtful to my core wounds you know to my ego essentially i just sit with it now i just cry with it and i just say do you know what i still love you i still love you i don't care um I, our love uh matters more you know that's what i say as i'm sitting with the pain and he said I don't care uh, who you've been with what you're doing what you're doing with whoever you know um, anything regarding that you know um, because you got to remember that yeah so yeah that's what I was saying so when you meet your twin it's the same soul but they're 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 too much locked into the masculine and you're too much in the feminine so that's why separation is absolutely necessary you have to go in, into balance within yourself so that gets mirrored back so essentially you healing yourself is helping your counterpart it mirrors back so the more healing you do on you the quicker they heal themselves it mirrors back in them energetically so that it helps them fast track to, to, for them to go through whatever karmic things they've got to go through and because you've got to remember is that when you when in your twin's absence like when they're not there and all this pain's happening and you're feeling the pain you know that version of your twin that is the the, the twin that ghosts you or denies the, or denies the connection denies the love or or, or says or said some stuff to you that's hurtful whatever um they don't really mean it because if you've seen that they are your twin and you feel it and you've seen it in their eyes like it's a it's a very uh in, instinctual like knowing um and you got to remember that they love you and they don't mean it it's just you're trying to push it because you, you, you we chase them because it's not because we we it's because it's our our, our fear is coming out our, our, our um 
we, we get activated, don't we? So all our core wounds start coming up. So as much as we'd like, to, as much as you, we pursue our twins for the benefit of for them to see, to have that realization, to be with you, like to to embrace you, to 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 come forward, so to speak. They already know you're the one. It's just they 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 don't like the. They're not ready to. They already know that you are the one. But what it is, it, it, it it's just it's so. I want to say powerful. It's so. It's very intense, for them to. For, they can't just go straight into the feminine, when they've got core wounds as well within them. They've got they've got to go through a series of events to release their core wounds, and that only happens to the, to the degree that you're doing it, because it's a mirror. So if you want your twin to heal, you you've got to step up and start healing you first. Forget the physical side of things. Forget your twin's body. It's all an illusion. It, like, it's, technically, it's an illusion. You are connected, like spiritual like energy, spiritual energy, like through consciousness. Which is what consciousness is to me. How would you describe consciousness? It's it, it's spiritual energy, which is everything. Everything's consciousness. So. So yeah, so. You're just leaving them in the background of your mind while you're focusing te only on you. And you to get to that point to understand that by healing you it heals them that will that for you to accept that that will come to everyone at different stages it, it only came to me like pretty recently on the journey um because again they are a mirror it is a mirror so even though it might not look that way it, it is um so yeah they've got to go for a series of events to embrace that feminine in them and and equally you've got to go through a series of events to embrace your masculine in you there has to be a balance a balancing out effect that has to take place and start with you because you are that you are your twin so you're always dealing with you so however you look at it you've got to step up and surrender and heal your pain and that leads to the the reciprocation energetically with your counterpart. So, because uh, again, your twin will deny, they'll ghost you, whatever, and it might look like they don't love you. That is not what it is. It they do. It's just they, at that moment when you've probed them to to to, to see that you're in love, you you love each other, you meant to, you, you have a connection, they, they, the inside they're saying yes, 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 in their heart, but they're, but they're, they can't bring themselves physically to, to, yet, to, to embrace it, because they've, they've got wounds in the way, that's what it is. It's not because they don't love you while they're ghosting. It's because they've got wounds in the way that's preventing them from uh, successfully, like, um, or for, or for, for, for like, for, in freedom to embrace it. They've not got no, not freedom, but, oh well, yeah, freedom. But it's it's another word. Like, they've got blockages in the way, just as you have. So. That's what's preventing them from uh, coming together. So, but as I said, you're dealing with energy. So all you've got to do is just focus on you because you, it, it's a mirror. You should know it by now. So... It, 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 the duality stuff comes in you start going into non-duality in and out of duality to non-duality and it makes you feel like you're going mad but you got to remember that they are you so what the physicality side of things you know
know, it doesn't matter, past, future, everything's happening, everything's happening now. And all our, all our beliefs about the past are tied into old limiting beliefs anyway, of self. Once you start to go through the healing and you transcend that, you automatically let go of what we call the past and everything that was attached to it because you've freed it, you've healed it, you've, you, you, the feeling that was attached to the, what we call the past is now gone. So that's removed all the resistance. That's when you come into union with yourself, which then equals that, which leads to alignment with your counterpart. So again, all your beliefs surrounding the physical world and physicality, you've got to wash them. You got to, you got to nurture them. You got to, you got to, you got to wash every stain away from that. Well, you've got to heal that. And that will come to everyone naturally. And it gets mirrored back. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's the only reason why our twins ghost us and, and say the things they say to us. Because it's it's not because they don't love you. It, it, trust me, that's not what it is. For a long time I was thinking, what's going on? You know, it, that's not what it is. It, it's because they, they feel the... It, 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 by you approaching them from a feminine point of view they've not got their, their feminine side of them is wounded so they're not ready to embrace that even though they they show you that their love is there they their masculine side which dominate it just takes over so then when you go into separation they'll either go into other karmic situations they'll throw themselves into other uh, karmic situations and you've got to remember everything that they're doing until you've healed and come into union with yourself which mirrors back in them until that's happened they're just going to go through a series of events and whatever they're doing doesn't really matter because you know one day that you'll be one uh, you'll you'll come you'll be you'll be in union with your counterpart knowing that that that, that you'll know one day that will happen by knowing that by being in union with yourself that leads to union with my divine masculine so and it is it's alignment so think of it like this like for a long time it really destroyed me like all the people that my, my twin might have been seeing or going with or, or whatever they're helping you come into union these people are doing you a massive favor like they're helping your twin see that you are the one for them and all these people that they're dating they're dating or having intimacy with or whatever, they, 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 they'll they then see through that it's just ego-based. And it's just for them to learn. Because you've got to remember, your twin, when she's when she or he's stuck in that masculine energy and, and they're resistant and they're denying the connection, you've got to remember that that's a, that's a version of them that you don't want to be with. You've got to realise that you don't want to be with that. You want to be with the, the version of your twin, the masculine, where you where you've been in union when you've had that moment of union that is the masculine feminine um where they've been balanced that's the version of them you want to be with so that's something that you want to be with so anyway i'm going to go now guys there's someone at the door um thanks anyway and uh sorry to cut you off but i'll be i'll, I'll speak to you very soon take care